Hi there, Signs of Leo. This is Kim here to do a reading. It's going to be a next 48 hour reading. Thanks for joining me. Appreciate that. Appreciate the support. Let's get um, right into your reading. I'm going to use Osho Zen Tarot today and um, probably, I think I'm going to start with the Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle. And then we'll clarify blah, using the Hermetic Tarot. Thing here I have the spacious tarot too and I have the animal oracle out I've got a few things out to pull so Leo's asking that your spirit team join your spirits your spirits your spirit guides your angels um 32 reconciliation this relationship friendship or partnership can be saved so that might even mean because I know that, you know, if you have a business, sometimes things can get hard. And it's, I almost feel like, it, you know, getting back into the spirit of your creating. Because sometimes it can easy, be easy to get down. I'm definitely feeling that energy <laughs> for you all today. I was wondering if I was going to do this reading. Because I was like, I'm a Leo and I'm feeling it. And I'm like, oh. I don't know. <laughs> so I hope I can lift up the energy a little bit here. Maybe you all can help me with that. 43, education. Education is an important part of your soul's development at this time. Um, on the 42, dark night of the soul, you are in the midst of a spiritual awakening. And for some, they get repeats of that. And, well, that stinks too. So... Yep. Let's see what else, Leo. What else do we have? We have 11, natural born leader. You're born to lead others. It's part of your path. Um, yeah, in whatever way, shape, form, or fashion. Usually, I see Leos as being leaders. And they don't all want to, though, I would, I would say. Um, but... <laughs> Nonetheless, you are in that role in some way, shape, or form. All right. What else? What else, Leos? What else? Oh, I have your perception. Now, this is a good card to get, especially when you have the dark night of the soul. Um, education is interesting sometimes. Um... It, it, it can be just even confusing figuring out what, what you're going to educate yourself on. Um, but perception, the way that you're seeing things, that definitely can always be shifted and make any of these things much easier to deal with. Um, it might have to do with forgiveness, too, um, or looking at a, um, an argument in a different way or looking at um, a partnership or friendship like... Instead of looking at something as being like ruined, maybe looking at it as, okay, well, what can I get or save out of this? If anything, what can I learn from this? Maybe that has that tie with that education. Nice. You have 30, you're a shooting star. Well, we needed that. You're a shooting star. You're about to step into your fullest potential. You know what? I'm going to leave it at six. I'm going to take a check at the bottom. 28 boundaries. You're learning the gentle art of setting boundaries and saying no. Hmm. I feel like it's it's also setting boundaries on what you will and won't listen to. You know what I mean? Like what you will. And cause sometimes Leos can bite their tongue. If they're like me, you can bite your tongue for a very long time. Um... All right. So those are your intuitive life coaching oracles. Let's get um, something from the spirit animal spirit oracle. Spirit animal oracle. It's it's something strange. And let's see what we get. Messages for Leos. Messages for the Leos. Whoa. Dolphin spirit. This and that are true. That's one of my favorite things to say. <laughs> I love that. Um, 
63 vulture spirit nothing is wasted which is exactly what we're talking about when it comes to anything that you have uh, been through even if something can't be reconciled then nothing is wasted what have you learned from that what can you bring forth to even educate others possibly also about what you've been through turkey spirit <laughs> give with gratitude and grace um then you have on the bottom here 41 nightingale spirit love is all around you have any repeating numbers no, but it feels like you do for some reason, but you don't. 20, this and that are true. Yes. This and that are true. It's kind of like saying there's half truths. Or that's how I think of it. Like... Um, you don't have to be on one side or the other, definitely. But you can take bits and pieces um, from either a person's argument or their opinion. And you can find, there's always that ability to find something in common. Most of the time. I mean, I've never had a time where I couldn't see something from somebody else's uh, point of view and make, make sense of it. Um... So, maybe I'm talking a little bit about that, but love is all around. Nightingale spirit and, a, and the phone, the phono thing right there. Xenophone, is that what it is? Xenophone. Anyway, it is about music and keeping your vibration high for sure. Um, it's just something that you like. Yeah. All right. Oh, shows in tarot. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm shuffling these so much. I'm just getting a feeling like we need to. All right. Bottom of the deck. Oh, 16. <laughs> 16. You have the tower. Or um, in this deck, it's like the epiphany. This is on the bottom of the card. It doesn't surprise me. It's been in all the a lot of other tarot readers' readings for Leo, too. Oh, that's a nice card to get, Leo. That might make you feel better. That makes me feel better just looking at it. Um, we'll get to it. So, Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, the Seven of Cups in the reverse for the challenge. The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse for the heart of the matter. The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse for the past. Mmm, got that Hermit card. For crowning you, you have a hermit card. You also have Ace of Cups coming in for the future. I'm so glad I decided that we really needed some more readings out today. That makes me happy. That makes me happy. Um, yeah, okay. So, look, I even got distracted. That made me so happy. So, something loving begins. So, there's something about a past journey about the your past journey oh yeah and maybe past lives too actually um it's the moon energy oh but there's a split there's a split decision there's a decision that okay kim you always get ahead of yourself so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get ahead of myself here past energy you have the queen of pentacles in the reverse which means that there is um this is that budget. This is the tightening up on all of the resources. It's trying to make it work. I don't, you know, and, it, and it's hard when it's like that, especially to receive um, your pentacles has just become the issue here. Um, so the root underneath it all, is it something that maybe had to go kind of apart, fall apart to show you, to show you something? Um, to light up something and I mean a big storm and you know they have had lots of big storms uh, here lately especially with the tornadoes and stuff so so if this is not talking because this is general read so if this is not talking about um, 
resources uh, it, it, in my love readings. It can represent a person who is on the outside. You don't necessarily have to know this person, but I can tell you that they kind of make their way into um, interfering in your life, in your domestic um, household. They could be like the other person. Um, it could represent that, like if somebody was having an affair. It can represent Capricorn energy. It doesn't have to, though. But but it's it's not, like, the most welcoming card in your reading. Because if it doesn't mean that, then it means that there's kind of an issue with receiving your pentacles or your finances getting good. So, you know what? I'm really not going to... I really don't want to pull too much on the past. Because nothing is wasted. But we don't have to keep going over it and over it. Okay, I'll do... I'll do one card for the past. Um, okay, so Princess of Pentacles. I'm kind of glad I did. So the Princess of Pentacles here, apparently I've got to do this stuff to just make these kids safe. Um, Princess of Pentacles is a new beginning. It's a new beginning. It's a new adventure. It's um, it, in another deck, it has... Um, a pathway actually it's this this deck it has a pathway lit up um, and a little child going towards like a rainbow lit area I think that describes page of Pentacles so good because it's like there is something new and and possibly to invest in um, something to have a gain like a money idea um, it can be and, and there's a lot of even though it's uh, earth energy there's a lot of fire coming out in this uh, clarification card. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this is something that you feel is a good investment and that all the signs are pointing to something being a, a wise investment for yourself. And like I said, it could be the reconciliation, like getting, uh, mending the issues within a business too. It can, it can be that and maybe starting something new with it too, just adding to it. Um, the five of pentacles in the reverse is, well, it's the outsider card. And it's also, you know, it could be an outsider feeling just because of being um, strapped for cash sometimes. And if it's not strapped for cash, then um, then feeling like an outsider, um, where you're feeling like uh, there's other people who have way more than you in whatever area. But this is coming out of that. Um, it could be a hardship. It could be something that just feels like you're getting nowhere. Um, but then something happens. I think what happens here, see at the heart of the matter, you're, you're viewing your situation as there's no, no, no opportunities around, or there's just not any good ones around. Like you're trying to see them, but your heart's not into something or not into these opportunities that you've been presented with. So, I think that's going to change, especially with this. Um, be careful with what you put into your body and um, with what you, uh, how, how you view your options and choices, especially um, when you're combating this uh, Five of Pentacles. So when you're getting out of this lack, you really don't want to like compound problems um, by having things that make you see unclear or impair your your um, ability to make sound judgments I feel like so the seven of cups in the reverse is like yes that you have been maintaining um, pretty much a clear mind so therefore you know keep it up and it will definitely help with coming out of this pentacle Pent pentacle bind um see so see all these aces you have you have an ace of you have the Ace of Earth, you have the Ace of Fire in the reverse, and then you have in the future the Ace of Cups. So, and this is really, really interesting too with the outcome because you have in the Osha Zen Tarot, um, it usually represents past lives. That's really interesting. Meaning, I think that there is some uh, person or situation that's coming in kind of waiting on you to make some decision. And I know I said I wasn't going to jump forward, but I have to because the the thing that you're doing right now would be in hermit mode. 
Um, it's crowning you. This is the energy all over you. It feels kind of like even the dark night of the soul. I mean, it's the journey that you go on. Only you know what you've been through. Only you really know how to navigate this. And sometimes we don't know how to navigate it, but we just know that we have to um, persist, keep on walking. Uh, so the hermit is always continually finding out more information about themselves, which is probably what's happening with you. Um, also, the hermit goes on this trail where the things that they crave or the, the passion, the excitement in life, they might not be the same things that they used to look for. Um, at, because, because of going through these issues, the dark night of the soul, um, having to come out of a very, very tough time, it looks like, with this five of pentacle in the reverse where you feel like you are outside or like it didn't belong. Um, this is about going within and really thinking about that journey that you've already been. Reflect and 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 see, you know, hey, nothing is wasted. What can I use from this? And and the reason why is because then when you find those good things about whatever it is, you've all of a sudden changed the vibration, and you get an Ace of Cups coming. You also get what looks to be like a past life uh, partner or soulmate coming in because of um because of of this work that you've done on yourself and because of the vibration being raised up and, and like i said there is some kind of decision here though all right so the most concerning card that i really have which that ace of cups you know that can be like um a new love thing it can be um usually it's like a start of something that's gonna be really great with the ace of cups in this deck i always get the feeling like problems are going to be easily flowed you know you're going to flow around your problems like water um float on your back for a while if you get tired swimming you don't have to float for a while like that's how i see that's how i see this i see it as as taking it easy maybe like similar to the lazy river Right, I don't know if you all have seen the <laughs> lazy. I love that one. Um, so, the only card I see here, like I say, with an issue, might be this Knight of Wands in the reverse, because it's it's saying. But you know what? It's saying that you're not going forward, that you're not moving forward. Um, I don't think it's saying that you're feeling image. I think it, it's saying at this moment, you're feeling the mistakes. Like you're feeling the things that have gone not so right. Um, and, 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 and you're being very extra cautious, like not to move too fast forward. Um, postponing. Postponing. That's what I'm getting from this. You're postponing. And there's huge transformation taking place, so I don't think this is the time for too many postponements. But you know, I do. Um, I do the same thing. So tell me about the Knight of Wands in the reverse, with the which is how you're feeling. So I think that's why it's really saying, "Hey, nothing is wasted. You're probably going through a dark patch, and you'll be all right." And there is that energy with, I, I said this, this is a moon card, but your outcome, I, it usually says past lives on here, but I try not to get swayed by all the, um, or influenced by all the writings on the cards. So it, this is, you know, coming across to me as your two, two cups, your past lives. Either this is a brilliant partnership for business, which it very well can be something that you're attracting in because of these, uh, this Ace of Pentacle in the reverse, it, it will be flipped up because the Two of Cups is about love for something, love for a partnership. And if it's, if it's anything to do with the heart, yeah, the heart will fill it. So I have that. I have that. Um, I do a real love. I have committed partnerships, maybe harmonious partnerships. Um, but right now it's the feeling of being kind of, of like going at it alone is what I feel like. So for most Leos, you got something really good to look forward to here. Future energy, Ace of Cups, like I said, big, big opportunity, maybe to float for a little while. Um, the Hierophant in the reverse is your hope or fear. 
Okay, so there might be a fear of commitment. Whoa. Might be a fear of commitment. Yeah, that might be it because the sun is coming out like, yes, let's not be in denial. It says, Lord of the fire of the world. So, it, 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 there may be a fear of commitment. There may be a fear of, of commitment switching up. There may be a fear of even a reconciliation of some sort. But I, ha I have a feeling, you know, this hierophant energy is like nothingness, basically. Um, <laughs> which is what it represents. But the sun is here saying as dark as it can get, you have the sun, which is your own energy um, to help you, to assist you through any of these choices or to see what's true and what's not true. Um, and it also energizes you. So moving right along, I've got past lives or the moon card and then the two of swords, which is, um, in this deck, you know, it's about being split, split on a decision. On a normal tarot with me too, I usually think that it's about postponing what might be already a decision that's made. Um, the full in a reverse is it, there's some hesitancy to take that first step to take that journey. Um, there's something that's just so unseen and, and truly there are also connections here that are on the unseen that probably already can be felt, but you just, there's something about taking a step or letting go or making a decision that you don't trust. And I might be talking about the experience itself. It really might be. Um, yeah. Okay. What to give your energy into and what not to give your energy to. Knight of Cups coming up. Lord of Waves and Waters. It's an offer opportunity. Um, it will be your choice if you want to take this unexpected offer and make something out of it. Um, and to actually step forward into a new beginning. But that's, of course, that's also going to be yeah, up to you. It is your choice. Um, nine of Wands in the reverse says just be careful with what you put your energy into. Because if you're going to get exhausted, it might as well be towards something that you're you know, wanting. All right. So some fairy cards. Fairy dust. That's right. Fairy dust. And I do have private readings available. If you're needing a private reading, make sure if you send me a cash app that um, you also email me because I have gotten a payment and not they don't have um, an email address for me. <laughs> so I need that to make sure. Um, music, again, music, beautiful, beautiful energy. Fairies dance in the green hollow where the music plays, the joy will follow. You're on the right path. The way ahead is clear and true. You've chosen the right path for you. And I also have creative. Life is a canvas for you to use. Paint all the colors of the happy moods. Paint all the colors of the happy moods. And gratitude. Gratitude, yeah, pulls you out of the lack consciousness. Everything will be all right. Fairies dance in your delight. And wishing well on the bottom to make some wish magic, cast this spell, throw pennies into the wishing well. And that's what I got for our Leos. Send you love and light. Bye-bye.